I wanted to jump into the stats with you as we just received the numbers for July recently. And I think that we had predicted a slower summer as historically, this is what we see. And needless to say, we are definitely experiencing a slow summer. Um, in fact, sales have declined by 31% when you compare June to July. So in just a span of a month, we've had about a uh, five 1,250 sales take place. So not many when you consider how many people are living in the GTA. And one thing I always keep in mind is that when you see a sale decline like this, that demand doesn't go away. It just means that we'll see it in future months. So at some point we will pay for the fact that we had a slower month um, and more of a competitive market down the line. Active listings are up as well by about 9%. So what that means is if you're a buyer, you have about 9% more options in July than you did in June, which is great for you because it also takes some pricing pressure off of the places that are available for sale, which translates into a better deal for you. Um, we're just sitting about three months of inventory right now, and that does mean that we are trending slowly more towards a buyer risk market as well. Um, and this is also translating into prices. So we have experienced some declines comparing June to July. We had about a 5% price dip for the GTA and an 8% decline for the city of Toronto.